well, wasn't that just an exciting thing to watch? I know. Openings are fun, and I'm going to turn the volume down on my TV just a bit. So that hopefully in this whole recording thing there aren't like any... You can't like hear the sound of the game echo in my commentary or whatever. So, guess what? I now officially can record like a normal person off my TV and everything. Isn't it just exciting? Let's look at options here. We're gonna be playing Tales of Legendia today. And I may turn this into an actual Let's Play instead of just like another test video. We'll see. Um, yes, I want subtitles. Uh, probably want to keep the difficulty on normal. Because <laughs> I kind of suck horribly at this game. Just screen. I'd, I'd rather not. No, no, stop. Okay. I keep, like, looking back at the the capture card screen thing on my computer to make sure it hasn't dropped any frames. Because the last time I tried to test doing this, like, I'm using, um... What I was using before was, like, this free software to record with the Dazzle. This time I'm using the Pinnacle Studio HD editing software that came with the Dazzle to record with. And the first time I tried using it, it just, it ended disastrously. Huh. I apparently already have a save game on here. Let's just go ahead and start a new one. How about that? Okay? Does that sound like a good idea? I think it sounds like a brilliant idea, personally. Please, no dropped frames, please. Take this! Take what? Hello, sir. You have extremely white hair. And she doesn't. Seno? Shirley, stay inside! But... Uh-oh, it's a thing. It has, like, multiple mouths, or whatever, it looks like. That's frightening. Hurry up and hide. Hey, over here! Ah, uh, a dumbass, he just got bit. Come on, come on. Let's see how you like this. Oh, I imagine he's going to love it. Yeah, he just ate it. <laughs> he ate your harpoon. Sino? He got away. If the engine were working, we could catch up and finish him off. Please, don't push yourself. You hardly slept at all this past week. I don't have a choice. You never know what'll happen. A ship could come by any time. I can keep watch, too. No. You know the sea breeze is like poison to you. Don't worry, I can take a little bit, really. Hey, hold on. Oh dear, it's a thing. Oh god. Oh? Surely get back. Oh goody, we're already having our first battle. And still no drop frame so far. Oh god, run. I don't remember how to play. Because I have not played this in for fucking ever. Oh god. Okay, I'm just gonna sit here and ow. I'm gonna sit here and get myself killed is what's gonna happen. Die, sir. There. Haha. <laughs> Die, sir! I kinda remember starting to- oh god, he's doing a spell. No spells, no spells, no spells. Oh god, ow, ow, he still hit me with it. You bastard. You know what, I'm just gonna start spamming that. I- naturally, I lost grade, because I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Got an orange shell, gracious me. Blocked an enemy attack, plus .01, damage taken, minus .04. Yay. The monster felt different than the others. It was almost human. 
was that a terror quest? Uh-oh, my controller is vibrating. Can you hear this thing? <laughs> what now? Oh, look, shiny. In the distance. Sano, look! Behind you! Huh? What the? And still no dropped frames. I'm excited about this. Well, actually, it says five, but it said five right when I started recording this, so... Oh, we get a special scene and everything to watch something shiny in the distance. <laughs> and they're both uh, frightened by the shiny, apparently. Oh shit, the shiny went away and oh god. Duh. Well, okay, like a giant island just came out of nowhere and almost knocked them over. That's great. Surely. Surely. Say something! Surely! Oh, look, the shiny's back. And then there's the island that nearly ran them over. Because islands can do that, you see, apparently. Well, we're gonna find out why this particular island can do that here in a second. I think. Oh, look, a person. Oh, look, it's the shiny again. Oh, look, that thing that kind of kicked her ass from, like, a while ago. Two minutes ago. Whatever. And poof. So, she's come. Okay, sir. Somebody's come, apparently. That's what he said. Surely, hang on! <sighs> this fever. She's burning up. She got seawater all over herself. Oh, look, random person. Hi. Hey, is everything all right? Is there some place around here with fresh water, a river, or a pond, or something? Well, there's a small spring at the top of the hill. Thanks. Hey, wait! What was that about? Well, why don't you go find out? That boat. Only Marines of the Holy Alliance use those boats. That means that kid is... Ellipses. That means that kid is... I, I don't know why you didn't finish your sentence, but hey, fine. what do you think you're doing? Are you trying to kill her? She'll drown! It's alright. Like hell it is. Oh, look. Hair. Shining it's hair. Glowing. Glowing. Quit staring at her. So seawater makes her ill, but fresh water helps her recover. I've never heard of anyone with a body like that. Well, now you on have. On top of that. The way her hair glowed, it's just like... Just like a shining one. I said quit staring at her. First the pillar of light in Raging Bay, and now a shining one. It's just as the legend said. Ooh, a legend. That girl, who is she? Hmm, the silent treatment. Let's try a different question. Why have you come here, Alliance Marine? 
ellipses. We didn't so much come here as we were drawn in. We were drifting on the sea when this thing just came out of nowhere. What is this place anyway? The legacy. We're standing on a giant ship, a remnant of an ancient civilization. A ship? Wait, a ship? to say such a thing oh what? really who the hell are you die <laughs> okay die because that really made sense sir mysterious youth uh do i want to fight you i don't oh god i i don't i'm trying to oh my goodness i just i cannot believe i don't remember how to do anything in this game Ow. How dare you, sir. Die. I just officially did, like, no damage to you. And surely screamed. Oh god. So, this sweet little thing's the Marinus, huh? Well, would you look at that. She got kidnapped. Already. I didn't think she'd really be here. But, lo and behold, there she was. See ya! Stop! And then he just flies away. It's that monster again! I can't worry about that now. I need to save Shirley. Do you know anything about that man with the eye patch? His name is Moses Sandor. He's a notorious bandit. Good. Do you know where he's headed? To his hideout, no doubt. The bandit's lair is in a high area beyond some mountains. Come, follow me. I never got your name. I'm Will Renard. And you? Sennel Coolidge. Well, all righty then. In pursuit. Oh, good. The first chapter. So before we even got to the first chapter, basically everything has just went horribly wrong. So that's good. Um, where? The manual mode. This game screws me up so bad when it's on semi-auto mode, I swear. Okay. What do we have? Do we have any items? The orange gels. Because those are going to be so useful. But, oh, we have other stuff. Okay. Uh, da, 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 we have nothing. What do we have equipped? Iron bracers. Bracers made of iron. Really. Soft leather, and we're a kind brother. Shirley's kind brother, not so nice to other people. It's great. What else do we got? Check character status. Set battle strategies. Change party formation. We consist of one person right now. That does nothing. <laughs> Oh yeah, and we got a synopsis. Let's see here. Shirley and I drifted until we reached a legacy, a huge sip as big as an island. Amazing. Shirley got seawater all over herself and started to run a fever, so I took her to Lumen Spring to get her some fresh water. As soon as we arrived, a man flew in and attacked us. Oh dear. As if that wasn't bad enough, this bandit named Moses came and kidnapped Shirley while I was distracted fighting the other guy. Hang in there, Shirley, I'm coming for you. Well, the guy who found us on the shore says that there's a bandit slayer around here where Moses and his gang hide out. I need to find out where this place is, so I've decided to travel with Will for now. Well, that's good. Oh, and this is what we were looking at before we even started the game. Okay. Option screen, and an apple gel, and a save point. And I may as well just save over this, considering I'm like barely an hour into the game on that, so whatever. Location, Falling Water. Isn't that just a magical name for a place? I know. Alrighty then. Let us run onwards. We. Oh, and we're already having another cutscene. Question mark? It's a piggy bank, and it's, like, squishy looking. Oh god, it exploded. And now there's a person here. Nice to meet you. 
Uh, something weird just popped out. Who is that, Will? Don't ask me, I've never seen someone that strange. I- I'm not weird, or strange. I am the 28th Wonder Baker Mimi. That's great. <laughs> the 28th what? How do you like that? Impressive, huh? Ellipses. I see you're at a loss for words. As a reward for finding me, I'll teach you a simple recipe for making bread. Great, and just where are we supposed to make it? Just go to a bakery. <laughs> well, that makes sense, I guess. There is a bakery in town. If we meet again, I'll teach you more recipes. And off she goes. Bye-bye! And then, pain. <laughs> but a little thing like this can't stop me, I shall rise again! That's what he said. What was that all about? I have no idea. Well, okay. Acquired basket. Acquired a recipe for toast. <laughs> Golly gee, I'm so excited about this. So now we can cook stuff. We have one recipe, and that is toast. Because apparently you need to be taught how to make something as simple as toast. <laughs> yeah. And already we're in a fight. Goody. Oh god, there's like a lot of stuff here. Go away, sir. Go away. Ow, I'm dying already. Running over here. Oh god. Go away, all of you. Die. Yeah! Hey, I got a, a, a thing. An air stone. Amazing. Yeah, sir. I got an air stone. Peep it, chick. And I also found egg and ham, and I lost great again. Oh, that's that's gonna be a regular thing until I remember how to fight in this game, pretty much. Oh, look, a town. What is this place? Quite a sight, isn't it? It's amazing that all of this is on a ship. There's even a city. Senel. Hmm? Have you ever heard the word Marinus before? No. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a blatant lie at all. Very well. ancient kingdom once flourished aboard the legacy. It was known as the Kingdom of Teresis. My, how exciting. The kingdom exciting. was actually led by a person designated as the Marinus. So you're saying this Marinus thing is connected to the legacy? That's right. It seems that the Marinus was able to control this great ship using nothing but the power of his will. The reason Shirley is being pursued is because some people believe her to be a descendant of the Marinus. Why would they think that? Right around the time you arrived, a pillar of light appeared in the center of the legacy. A pillar of light. When the pillar of light appears, a new Marinus shall arise. It's an old legend taken from the records of Teresis. That's got nothing to do with us. It's just a coincidence. Oh, I'm sure. I thought so too at first, but once I laid eyes on her, on Shirley, I started to wonder. Why? Because Marinus means shining one. <sighs> Leg asp. The legacy was discovered 15 years ago. The ship is shrouded in countless mysteries, very few of which have been solved. We don't have the slightest idea about even basic things like how it moves or when it will stop. Were a descendant of the Marinus to appear, many would consider her an invaluable asset. Yeah, well, that's got nothing to do with Shirley. I'm sure. Well, okay then, I guess let's continue forward. Or actually, um, we're like at 20 minutes here, so I'm gonna go ahead and call this a video. And I hope this, the quality turned out all fine and amazing and whatever, and yeah. 
thanks for watching, and I will see you when we, I guess, continue down to that city we saw. So, uh, bye, for now. <laughs>